Quilling is actually described as the art of paper filigree. Traditionally, artists use paper strips and they would coil it up and make shapes out of it. But instead of doing that, my way of quilling is to just use the paper strip and to almost like sketch with paper. I like paper because it's something that I'm familiar with and it's something that everyone can relate to. I've always been artistic since I was a kid. I love working with my hands. And I think that being in architecture school and the studio environment, that really helped. I was born in Singapore, but then I decided to go to college for architecture at Cornell University. I initially thought architecture was a good balance of like being creative as well as like a little bit of engineering. I kind of liked that idea of like being artistic and practical at the same time. When we moved to the Twin Cities, I knew I didn't want to do architecture anymore just because I never was really passionate about it. So I started doing paper art two years ago, and I guess now I'm a paper artist. I work under the name Judith and Rose, which is a combination of my middle name and my husband's middle name. Oh, that's cool. I do like to say we when referring to my artwork because I feel like Jamie has had a say in it. So even though he's not the one physically putting the paper down, gluing the paper down, you know, his ideas are in it, his criticisms are in it, and I like to give him credit. I like to call myself a self-taught artist because I didn't go to art school. When I first started, I made it a point to not look at videos online of how other artists were doing quilling or paper art. Because I think the process of making something, it's unique and it's personal. Since, you know, I already had that foundation in architecture school, I felt like it was important to find my own way of doing things. And so how I work might not necessarily be how some other artists work, but it works for me. And I think that's important. My aesthetic is clean and modern. I don't like anything too fussy. It's difficult to do simple. Something that looks easy could take hours, days, weeks. The first paper art pieces that I made were names with these coils of paper, and they were actually gifts for our friends and family for their babies. Yeah, it started out being way more personal, and then now I'm trying to grow as an artist. We were just in a group exhibition in California. It was a group of paper artists and I actually was the only quilling artist. <laughs> it was the first time that our work has been shown in the US in a gallery setting. So we actually had a chance to go visit and my parents actually came to visit and got to see the show, which I think must have been interesting for them because in their mind, they still think I'm an architect. You know, I sent my daughter to architecture school. What is she doing? <laughs> so it was nice to see that I possibly have a career in art. It's like gratifying to see a work on the wall. Mm -hmm.